Notice these three things, awareness, desire, and then comes the third thing, that is decision. So there are a lot of folks, if you don't have all three of these, you don't have repentance. Because the awareness and the desire, I have a desire to do lots of things. How about you? I have a desire to lose some weight. Doesn't mean I will ever, ever will. I have the des desire to do lots of different things. But if the desire doesn't turn into a decision, the process is not complete. And so real repentance, what is it? It is an awareness of those things that God wants you to address in your life that then produces not condemnation and not a feeling of being miserable about it. You'll feel sorry for where you are, but you want to change. There is a desire. And then you start making decisions that actually change the way you're living your life. So awareness, desire, and decision. Say that with me. Awareness, desire, and decision. That's what repentance is. God making you aware of things that he wants to work on or change in your life, an area where he wants to adjust your life, an area where he wants to bring some recovery to your life, and then a response of you saying, yes, God, I see this, I desire this, and then making the decision to start the process of change, leaving some things behind and pressing to some things that will be new in your life, turning away from sin and turning toward God. Another way to describe repentance, the end result of repentance, is you actually do a 180 in your life. You're going one direction, and now you turn because God brings an adjustment, and you now start going the other direction in your life, the direction that God says is His way of living. And even when God does it, you don't have to even understand everything God's trying to tell you to do or adjust in your life. You just simply know, I need to make this adjustment. Now, let's go to the why question. That was the what question. What is repentance? Awareness that leads to a desire that leads to change, leads to a decision. If you haven't completed the cycle, you haven't completed the circuit of repentance without all three of those things.